Hello, today I'm going to be talking about something a bit personal that I thought I'd never share this online. If you're new to these type of, if you're new to my new type of videos, um, I'm now using this channel as a therapy channel for myself and for others. Hopefully it will help other people because talking about my problems is a good way for me to let it all out instead of bottling it all up. And um, I've got a new camera so hopefully uh, my videos will now look better than they used to. I'm still figuring out how to use it so right now it could look a bit crap but I'm learning. Anyway, I'm not going to go into detail on this bit because I want to get into the drugs problem but what led to the drug problem is because um, what I think is throughout school I was bullied, I used to get beaten up after school and it was always with a gang of people, it was never one against one. Um, friends would stab me in the back. My first ever job I was bullied mentally, like it wasn't, like most people wouldn't class it as bullying but for me it was because they knew what they were doing. They know I've got Asperger's which is a form of autism and they were taking advantage of me a lot. And then the second job I had, um, like most of the staff were amazing but there was a few staff members there who did the same thing. So I ended up quitting my job. After I quit my job, uh, a few of my closest friends, but then they seemed different around me, like they judged me for quitting my job. There's, there's just loads of little things that all add up, so I'm not gonna like say everything. But I eventually was like, do you know what, fuck this shit. I've had enough of feeling like this. Why not try some weed? Because I have smoked it before. I have tried it before with friends, but I only had a few tokes, so I never got high. So I've always been curious about it. So this one day I was just like, yo man, <laughs> can, you, can I buy some weed? Um, I bought it off a friend who I've known for so long, but yeah. Um, I said to myself, if I am gonna, you know, if I am gonna buy weed tonight, make sure it's just a weekly thing, just once a week. But the first time I smoked it, 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 it instantly turned into a daily thing. With weed, like, I felt happy again, like, all the simple things like playing video games, watching a film, watching YouTube videos, just doing, listening to music, simple things, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it like, it's hard to explain, I enjoyed it so much compared to how I usually do. And I eventually isolated myself from everybody because I enjoyed my own company so much because I would, I would just get high and do really, you know, I would do really lazy things, like n nothing productive. I don't know if I'm in denial or not, but um, I've, I don't think weed is the cause of my mental health problems. I think I feel like they are because everyone around me has said like, you shouldn't be smoking weed, it's bad for you, it's, you're gonna end up getting schizophrenia or something, you know. They really look down at it, so I, but part of me is like, nah, it's not bad for me. And then there's another part where I'm like, yeah it is, I shouldn't really be smoking it. But yeah, I, overall I don't see weed as a problem. It helped me in some ways because I never had anything to look forward to in my days. And I, every day I had something to look forward to at the end of the day where I could just smoke, just chill out, relax and enjoy my own company and do things I enjoy doing. It's like my depression and my depression just went away. That's why I liked it so much. And that's why I still love it now. <laughs> but saying that, there is some negatives to smoking weed like my short term memory is so bad that like, I could be at, like, I'll have a conversation with someone about something and then a few days later that subject would be brought up again and I'll be like, huh? I can't actually remember. So they'd have to remind me what they said and I'd be like, oh shit, yeah, okay. And like, I can't focus on things like, simple things like, I can't watch a film. Sometimes I can't watch films because I can't focus properly and I don't know what's going on in the film so I have to like rewind it or ask my mum like, oh what just happened so yeah it's really bad I can't read books sometimes because my mind just yeah I can't focus but yeah when I eventually moved out with my um, ex-partner we split up so I'm, I'm living by myself now but I went through a patch where I would only see my family once a week and the reason why that's bad is because they live literally it's a 10 minute walk from here or a five minute bike ride and I'd only visit them once a, once a week. I see them every day, or well, nearly every day now, so like I'll have one or two days off where I'll just be chilling by myself. But yeah, I used to only see them once a week and spending that much time by yourself, not leaving the house, you overthink about everything and that 
really made my mental health worse, I feel. Because you convince yourself things like, I convinced myself that my family hated me and, you know, it's really stupid things that I shouldn't have, I, that I shouldn't think, that I shouldn't have been thinking of. For about two years now, I've stopped going grocery shopping. Like, I've been a few times in the past two years, but I don't do it anymore. Like, food is weird. Like, my diet is really bad and my weight can go up and down. Like, one minute, like, I can, I'll class this as chubby right now, but one minute I can be really skinny and then one minute I can be like this. Because my diet, is, it just, it's just rice and peas and tuna, stuff like that. And then I'll go through phases where I'll just go to the shop and, and get chocolate. And that's all I'll eat. I don't have like meals or breakfast or anything like that. So weed has made my diet really bad. But I don't know if that's the weed or if it's just how I'm living. But yeah, this is when things started to get really bad with drugs. Ten, about 10 months ago, I reached my lowest point. I genuinely didn't want... I feel bad, like, I don't like saying this because it's so, it sounds so dramatic, but I generally didn't want to be on this planet anymore, I just wanted to fall asleep and not wake up. Um, but the only thing that stopped me from acting on that was my family because I could not put them through that because I feel bad saying this, but in a way I f see it as kind of selfish because if I did do that, you know, and I'm not going to say it because it's, it's horrible. Um, it would cause them like serious mental health issues as well and I need to like I know in my head that the suicidal thoughts and shit they will pass like it's not it's not going to be there constantly but anyway I've reached that point and I was like I'm gonna try a different drug and I've been googling about a drug that makes you see yourself differently and opens up your minds shit like that and I found a drug called DXM I, the full name is I've got it on the screen. It's dextromethorphan. I think I'm saying it right, but yeah, it's not that popular. But what makes it sound so bad is it's a cough suppressant. <laughs> like it's in cough syrup or um, liquid gels, pills or whatever. So I would go to Tesco's and go to the chemist section and I'll ask for this certain brand, uh, this certain type of cough syrup because the one you needed could only have that one ingredient, which was DXM. If it was anything else, it's, it's dangerous. So I'd ask for it, and I used to go there like nearly every day, and I went there that much, they stopped <laughs> selling it to me, which is, which is really embarrassing now, I think back to it. So then eventually I found a way I could buy it online in pill form as well, so it was a lot healthier, <laughs> healthier for my body, because I'm not drinking syrup. And for me, there's in DXM, there's different levels of high. They call it plateaus. I think I'm, I think it's pronounced plateaus. But I always like reaching the third one. And for my body weight, I need 900 milligrams of DXM. And each pill is 50 milligrams. So if you work that out, it's 60 pills. So I used to take 20 pills at once. You know, have a break for 10 minutes, take another 20, take another 10 minute break, then take another 20. And then you wait for about an hour and you start feeling the effects and for about, you're literally high for like 7 to 12 hours, it lasts so long, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, it's a really weird drug. Like, I'd lie in my bed and turn all the lights off and I'd have visions, like I'd black out so I'm like half asleep, half awake. And I saw like how the whole universe was created and why we are here, like, why... It sounds really dumb and stupid, because it is dumb and stupid, but at the time, I felt so intelligent. I was like, shit, I've unlocked my mind. I know everything now, but once I sobered up, I forgot everything, and I was like, okay, that was dumb. And also, like, I would watch concerts on YouTube. I'd turn all the lights off, put the concert in full screen, and when I reached to that point where I was really high, um, it would literally feel like I was there, and the singer I was watching, I could read their thoughts and what they were feeling. Obviously, I couldn't, but I just thought I could because I was high. It's, it's, it's a bizarre drug, and I was playing GTA this once, and I played it in first person mode, and it literally felt like I was there again, like it was me controlling it, but it's like being in real life now, but you're controlling it with a controller. It, it was so trippy. It's fucking weird. I shouldn't be saying all this because it makes it sound like, I hope it's not making people like, oh, that drug does sound interesting, I'm going to try it. Don't try it, it's really, 
really not good because it's a cough suppressant for fuck's sake, it's not meant to be taken to get high. People say online that the recommended uh, time, the recommended amount to take is twice, uh, once or twice a month and the max I've done it was taken it every day for four weeks and but my normal amount was taken every day for two weeks, I'll stop for two weeks then I'll take it again for two weeks. I know that it was really bad for my body and it could potentially be dangerous but at the time I just didn't care because I just didn't care because I felt shitty. I didn't really care if I had if I made myself unhealth like it's hard to explain. I just didn't care if it was fucking me up. And I've learned recently from online that I should not be taking DXM because it is really dangerous because of the antidepressants that I'm on. I've checked online on this, uh, it's like a drug interaction checker, you can type in all the drugs you take, anti uh, um, medications and shit, and it says what medications interact, not interact, what's the word? You know, how they don't go well to, with each other, and how they're dangerous, and what why you shouldn't take it. Um, and all the medication I'm on is dangerous for DXM. A few times when I got really high, near the end of the high, I, I literally felt like I was dying sometimes, like I couldn't, like, I could feel things in my body and I was convinced to myself that shit, like, I've, I'm leaking inside and my insides are melting, but that's what it felt like and I really thought I was dying and I, my body temperature was through the roof, it was ridiculously hot and I was sweating that much, um, my clothes felt soaking wet. It literally felt like I came out of the shower and put clothes on. Like my body, like everything was wet. Everything felt wet because everything was sweaty. And I went to bed and I woke up and I was like, I thought I pissed the bed, basically. I thought I wet myself. The bed was soaking wet and I smelt it. It wasn't pissed or anything. I learned that it was just wet. It was that bad, like I could rinse my bed, because it couldn't have been piss because it was on my bed covers on top of me and it was that sweaty, like if I'd rinse it, a few drops would come out. That was sweat, like, surely the human body can't produce that much sweat. Well obviously it can because it happened, but it can't be healthy. I'd have, sometimes I'd have like mini seizures, my eyes would go so dry where I could like hardly close my eyes because my eyelids were sticking to my eyes and everything looks, and for like 20 seconds everything would look like a cartoon but yeah I eventually learned that it was this thing called ser serotonin serotonin syndrome basically what it is is the antidepressants I take blocks, ser blocks the serotonin chemical in my brain to my brain sorry and DXM is a serotonin releaser so my antidepressants stop serotonin going to my brain and me taking the DXM is pushing it to my brain, if that makes sense. So it's all building up and then suddenly it goes into my brain at once and that's when all the... It's, basically it's dangerous and... And I knew it was dangerous after this and I still continue doing it. But I lowered my dosage so I wouldn't have... As, so I wouldn't have... So the effects didn't feel as bad. But in a way, like... A lot of people say this about drugs and it's true, like, DXM has helped me in some aspects because it's helped me see the world in a new light. Everything seemed like it had a fresh layer of paint on and um, I saw myself in someone else's shoes because DXM is a dissociative drug. So like you see yourself outside of your body. Not literally you see yourself but it's hard to explain um, and I learned that because I've always hated myself as a person, I've never liked myself, but seeing myself in someone else's shoes, I realised that, you know, I, I'm a nice person, I care about people, my moral, I've got good morals, upset for like how I take care of myself. And that's another reason why I'm coming back to YouTube, because I do kind of like myself now and I feel kind of confident, that's why I'm not editing out and if you've watched my last video, when I do make a mistake, Basically, I'll say a sentence and I'll say it ten times because I'm not happy how I said it because I want it to all be perfect. But now I don't care about that. I'm just going to be myself. This is how I am in real life. And because I'm not thinking about being perfect, um, it's stopped my stuttering, which is really cool. It's really cool because my stuttering used to be so embarrassing. 
but it's gotten a lot better since I've fought this way. I've all after all that DXN stuff a, f a few months ago I tried coke um, but luckily I didn't really feel anything from it because it's not my type of drug so I did, I'm not addicted to that which is good because cocaine is it's so expensive and it's really bad for your um, nasal passage and it's yeah it's well all drugs are bad I can't just say coke's bad and I should do other things every drug is bad Except for weeds, I'm always going to stick up for that because it's a plant, no one's died from it, no one's had, like, it's not caused anyone health problems. The only bad things about it is it can activate the psychosis that they've already got, but it hasn't come out yet, if that makes sense, like schizophrenia and stuff. I still smoke weed every day, I'm dependent on it, that's the only thing I think is bad about it because... You know, I'm dependent on it and you shouldn't really be dependent on anything like that. I'm still addicted to DXM, like I need help for that because I will have slip ups again. I, what? I don't want to have slip ups but I always say like I'm never going to do it again when I do. But I'm just going to be honest with myself now and that's why I'm just going to pull it on YouTube and because it's, I'm putting it out there so if I do contradict myself and at least I've got this. It's hard to explain. I'm not really sure if this video has a point or anything. I don't know if it's got any positive outcome, but but like I said, I'm using this channel as like a therapy for myself and hopefully others if they can relate and they're going through similar things. So even if I do slip up and, you know, do something silly again like drugs or whatever, I'll make a video about it. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope this video was okay. Sorry if it makes you see me differently and now you don't. No one likes me, but this is who I am. I'm trying to get better. I, I'm at that point in life now where I do want to do something about it. I want help because for so long I've been comfortable with how I was and I didn't want to get better. I liked feeling depressed. I liked being, I liked isolating myself. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.